Hi, everybody. I'm so excited to read you this book. First laugh, welcome, baby. Now, as you're reading this book, be sure you're on the Google site page, and then you can have the instrument right next to it. So as I turn each page, I want you to play music that would tell the story. So whatever happens in the story, then you're going to play something with the instruments that make sense. So you can press the green button to play the drums, and then you can use the little colored circles to play the different notes on the flute. Sometimes maybe a page would just have flute. Sometimes a page might just have drums, or sometimes you play them together. Uh, so as I'll, I'll give you a little signal to know when to play uh, with each page. So this is First Laugh, Welcome Baby by Rose Ann Tai and Nancy Bowflood, illustrated by Jonathan Nelson. This is a Navajo story, just like what we talked about. So this is a story of what some Navajo people do to welcome babies into the world. Um, and so we'll, we'll figure it out as we read the story. Baby, we wait, watching, tickling, smiling. When will we hear your first laugh? Baby in your crib, the grandmother, your Nimi Sani, tucks you under a Pendleton blanket in your skyscraper home in the big busy city. All week long, Papa, your niece, works welding buildings of steel while Mama is teaching children at school. Soon you wiggle and squirm. Eyes open awake, you start to smile. But then, such a frown, you are hungry. Smells from the kitchen tickle your nose. Big sister, you're naughty, sprinkles salt cedar ash into bubbling blue cornmeal mush. Eat, little baby, fill up your tummy. tummy. Then, will you laugh? Navajo baby, dine awe. You often visit your grandparents on the Navajo Nation. From your cradle board in the shade of the pinon, you watch while your Nina, your mama, weaves bluebirds and thrushes into her tree of life rug. Ribbons of buckskin hold you snug so your legs grow strong and your back straight. Caw, caw. Look, little baby, how Raven teases, swoops low, then soars high. Your mouth opens wide, it stretches a smile. Oh no, it's a sleepy, sleepy pink yawn. You ride on a horse across the red mesa, snuggled up in front of grandmother's arms. She shows you her sheep while tickling your chin. You grin. Uh-oh, dogs bark, coyotes yip and yow. Little fingers curl around grandmother's hand. Your lips turn down. What a scowl. Grandmother kisses your cheeks and tears. She points to the windmill, bringing up water for cows and their calves. You reach toward the silver blade spinning. Whoosh! Grandmother, your chi splashes water, sparkling with sunshine. You squeal, legs kicking. Laugh, little one, but not even a smile. Oh, baby, we wait, we wonder, when will you laugh? Tonight, after napping, you wake, stretch, and look. Not tired, not hungry, not scared. Big brother, your Nina, makes silly faces. Sister plays your Navajo flute. Papa tickles your tummy and toes. Mama sings with the sunset. Your eyes open wide, tiny lips quiver and turn into a smile. You look all around. Grandfather holds you up high. Grandmother whispers a corn pollen prayer. Oh, baby, your arms wave. Your smile grows big, still bigger. Like babies everywhere, long ago and today, you laugh. Grandparents nod, sister giggles, brother jumps, mama and papa clap. Everyone cheers. Oh, baby, yes. 
We welcome you, Navajo baby, into your family, into our clan. I hope you enjoyed that, <laughs> and I know you made some awesome music to go along with it. The cool thing is, you could even rewind this and try it again and see if you could make up different music uh, to go with the story. Now, I'm going to show you these last couple of pages have all kinds of information about what this meant to the Navajo, and then it actually talks about how in other countries, babies are welcomed and in other cultures. So you can check that out, and then I'd love to hear what was your favorite one, or if you have a way in your family that people welcome babies, I'd love to hear about it. So I'm gonna show you these pages. If you're all done, you can click out of this video, but if you wanna learn more, you can read these pages um, and then comment on your favorite way of welcoming a baby to the world, which might be the way that your family does it. This is talking about the authors and the illustrators. And feel free to pause the page if you want to read it more slowly. This is talking about what those customs meant for the Navajo. And then these last pages tell about uh, all over the world, even more customs. Hold it real still so you can pause it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day.